So I've done a lot of writing, and I just thought back to the days when I made like videos in different locations, just not in my room, which is what I'm doing now. It's always this corner. I would put it on the table and bring it there. But now it's just the same old shit. It's me in the corner rambling about some crazy shit while my hair grows longer. I don't do those monthly haircuts anymore. It's been 53 weeks, 53 weeks until I had a haircut. That was the last time. I think it was July 27, 2012, and it's August 3rd, 2013. So, yeah, and it's also problematic that I don't wash my hair properly. That's the thing I really need to work on doing. And besides that, we should really get to the point. I have been doing a lot of writing on my own blog, spot account, and I've also contributed to the right stuff and that shit, which is wavy. But the important thing is that I don't know why I'm looking up there because then you're just seeing all this. I should be looking at the camera, but I don't really like looking into you guys. Y'all niggas dumb, ugly like me. <laughs> Alright. And aside from all the writing, what happens is, sometimes I try and look for stuff that's going to really make me think about groundbreaking shit. That's going to compel wisdom from me. That's going to compel some revelatory knowledge and just keep the cycle of me seeing stuff that people need to hear going and when that happens I usually resort to watching anime why I don't know I guess you get the most brilliant shit when you're 12 years old I mean, isn't that when you're Gaming the most, watching all that shit on TV the most. You're really throwing a lot of information. It's really caffeinated shit. It just serves that low attention span part of the brain. But then they throw in some mind blowing shit, and some people catch on to it, and other people don't. I was the one that was lucky enough to catch on to that shit. When I was in the eighth grade, I. I watched Cold Geass, and Cold Geass is basically V for Vendetta, but with giant robots. Unless they do have giant robots in the actual comic book and movie. And with. And it's basically with tits. Oh, it's not as bad as most mecha anime or... Oh. I wouldn't call it too much of a fan service anime. Um, there's certainly a lot of shit that I see that has a lot more pointless fan service that doesn't really do anything. I mean, I saw Rosario Vampire. That shit is... The anime is fan service up the ass, but the manga really kills it. The manga really fucking kills it. And the thing about the manga for Code Geass is that it was made afterwards and it doesn't contain all that mecha shit. It's just insurrection on the streets. None of that uh, giant robot crazy shit that kept the 13 year olds into it. And it really played like a chessboard, so this is one of those made for smart people on it, man. As I like to call it. Because Leilush, the thing about him is that he's basically a genius. Where his friend and rival a little bit is more of the physically fit, athletic, superhuman badass. 
But one thing I really thought was strange about the anime was the political implications of it. Basically, the whole idea was that Lelouch was supposed to be this... Well, I'm getting text. The whole point is that Lelouch is supposed to be some type of badass. That, uh, he's supposed to uh, be this optimate from the royal family that because he was dumb tight about their invasion of Japan or something, he basically started talking shit to his dad, and his dad made him live in this whack-ass environment. He threw him off the royal family, so he got cast down the optimate line. I'm not sure if using all that mold bugging nonsense that he used to describe the West really works, but that's essentially what happened. This is the first time I did something like this, you know, just make someone consider it, but outside of that first Let's Play, my first video since deleting all my shits back in Alright. I know this guy's gonna send me more shit. I'm a slow fucking texter. Are you fucking kidding me right now? But anyway, so Leilouche gets thrown down, and Britannia is this empire that just took over Japan. I don't know how Japan was able to defend themselves. They're not supposed to have a military, but. They got their ass kicked nonetheless, now they're a colony and an imperial nation. That's cool and all. And so Lelouch takes on this masked persona, and it's basically just V, but he calls himself something else. And this guy's trying to incite a violent revolution, he's with this crew of undercover niggas and this red-headed chick with this temperamental personality but eventually somehow after like 52 episodes there's like two seasons of this shit he manages to take it over and to turn it into a dictatorship because he has this geos ability to Aside from giant robots, where the Geass is this eye thing that gives you special powers, and when you use it, everyone, some people have their own, but they have different abilities, but the way he uses it, he basically just looks at the person and makes a command, and they're compelled to make to complete that command to fulfill it, which causes a lot of interesting shit to happen. Some he intends, and some he doesn't, and he has to find a way to work around it. All in all, it's just a bunch of strategical shit, but with all these abilities and everything that's happened, he manages to take both these places over, turn them into a dictatorship, because he overthrew the king. And after he does that, he basically does this suicide thing with where um, his friend takes on the costume which became more of an idea the mask than an actual face and then he kills Lelouch or he fakes the execution of Lelouch and eventually becomes somewhat of a republic democracy and that's supposed to make things all better right making it go from an imperial colony where this mercantilist thing to 
the dicta military dictatorship to democracy. The whole thing just reeks of what people consider good politics today. And that really is kind of what optimists do. They incite the masses to make themselves stronger and then it just leaves it with too much freedom and chaos, but the ending was way too melancholy and happy to be realistic. If any of this were to happen, like they said that uh, that money in the budget was going to be spent more on the poor than actual than actual military. Let's be honest, that usually results in stupid shit too. So I'm get, and I guess the masses in Britannia and the helots, for some reason, the Japanese helots, they're in confliction, but I still think that the imperial nation and the colonies, that was a much better system than the end outcome. I don't think it's going to be good. If Code Geass were a legit series, wait, if that weren't just a series, that was reality? reality, it would lead to what we have now, where we overthrew our mother country, and now we're just a bunch of welfare zealots with a Brahmin issue. And a Dalit issue, that's also important that the thugs, uh, there weren't a lot of Dalits. You could say that Lelouch kind of added a bit like a duck. He was always causing mischief and trouble, but it was adorable in a way, initially. Okay. And that's kind of what I thought about Code Geass. There's everything I hate about politics nowadays and the way people view the world. And I did see it when I was an ANCAP, an ANCAP, and it just made me apathetic in the opposite way, because that wasn't the anarcho-capitalist utopia, or any non-V for Vendetta anarchist utopia. And the funny thing is that when I was, like, debating status and then turning them into anarchists, too, they ended up becoming that default V for Vendetta kind of anarchist that Occupy Wall Street is badass anarchist. So I'm thinking, and now that I'm not that anymore, there's more of that going on in these neighborhoods, in these communities around me, uptown New York. That really sucks. So those are my thoughts. This is Mr. Wonka7, and suck my dick. Suck my dick.